Grand Canyon 75, St. Mary's 66, the second 12 seed to upset a five seed in this tournament. That is Carter Elliott, Sleepers Media. I am Brian Ralph of Heatcheck CBB here on the Sleepers Media YouTube channel. Uh, this was an interesting contrast of styles, Carter. We talked about it in the preview. St. Mary's wanted to slow things down. Grand Canyon having the length and athleticism to potentially give them some issues. And it gave them some issues. St. Mary's did not shoot the ball well at all. Aiden Mahaney was 5 of 21 from the field. They shot, uh, what was it, 38.8% of the team, 28% from three. Grand Canyon dictated this game for the most part and made St. Mary's uncomfortable, which is, I I think, a sign of um, a quality, quality team in Grand Canyon. Yeah, and, you know, I... I've been high on St. Mary's all year, as you know, as we talked about on the preview. You tried to tell me I wasn't buying it. Uh, but the reason why I was so high on them was because of their execution on the offensive defensive end and their ability to be so physical with people. Like, you know, I look back to the Gonzaga game that happened in the WCC championship. They didn't let Graham E.K. or any of those guys bully them whatsoever. They were so physical, so tough. And you know what? I came into this game thinking they would be able to do that. But to my surprise, Grand Canyon was the more physical team. They dictated everything, yeah. every step of the way. And to be honest with you, Grand Canyon, in my opinion, didn't even like play that well. I, I, not, I don't want to say not that well, but like they didn't shoot the ball crazy or anything like that. Right. Only only 27 percent from three, 42 from the field. Um, They were also at the end of that game or uh, in the last five to ten minutes. They were trying to take every worst shot available to give St. Mary's a chance to come back. I mean, I think I was if I was playing a drinking game where I took a shot for every time Robbie Hummel said, you know what, that's just not a good shot in the last 10 minutes. I would have been uh, very inebriated. But uh, they were just, to my surprise, they were the more physical, more athletic team. And mm -hmm. they they knocked St. Mary's off their pivot and they, they weren't able to, you know, get it together. I'm glad you picked up on that because Robbie Hummel was his fourth game of the day in Spokane. Grand Canyon team that should have had that wrapped up long before they did and just terrible, terrible shots. I mean, just like I was like, I'm like, oh my, like, there's no way he just took that three with 20 seconds on the shot or there's no way he just did yeah. this pull up two. Like, what's going on? He was Robbie Hummel was so frustrated and yeah. it was hilarious to me at 1 a.m. sitting there like, can we just get this over, please? But uh, I so I really like this Grand Canyon team. In general, talk about that in the preview. I, I think they proved why in this game, but I also have not been a fan of St. Mary's. I've thought this team was somewhat overrated because their offense reverts back to being an average to below average offense when they've played good teams, NCAA tournament level teams this season. They turned their season around when they got to the WCC play, and there weren't many of those games on the schedule. It was pretty much just Gonzaga. Gonzaga, the first matchup, was not playing the level they are now. St. Mary's won by two, and then Gonzaga went and won at St. Mary's, and they they won the WCC Tournament Championship, and you have to give them credit for the way they beat Gonzaga in that game. But I didn't have confidence in the offense not going through a rut. Like, we've talked about Tennessee being a team that you, you just know at some point they're going to go through a, a difficult offensive stretch, and in past years that's been their undoing and why they have not made the runs that they've been projected to make. The St. Mary's team is very similar to that. And you in this game, they were they were behind. <clears throat> Start of the second half, Grand Canyon made a couple threes and pushed it out to like a seven point lead. St. Mary's able to cut it to one. Well, then Grand Canyon went on a seventeen to one run over the course of five and a half six minutes, where St. Mary's didn't score a basket for six minutes. That changed the game. I mean, that completely flipped. Had to take St. Mary's out of what they wanted to do. They had to play faster, which they actually were pretty effective doing. They got some pretty good looks in transition, which made me wonder why they don't do not do that more. But that that's my issue with the St. Mary's team and, and any team in general. Is when you play one way and you're only successful playing that one way, it limits how good you can be because there's going to be times where you get thrown out of it. And Grand Canyon did a good job during that second half getting them out of it, making St. Mary's play a way it did not want to play. Yeah, and you know they were just I, I they had them um, shake like just it, you know you look at the box score after the game and you go to the turnovers and they had thirteen of them which you know is not like anything just completely crazy for St. Mary's but like not the best right. but when you're just watching that game I'm just watching I'm like Aiden Mahaney is, is shook to his core right now like right. Grant Foster has him visibly shaken like Marcelonis 
had, was visibly shaken and could not get to a spot. They couldn't dribble. They were taking the ball. There was a stretch during that 16-1 run that you talked about where on the other end, when they were getting stops, it was St. Mary's trying to drive, and they were just they, – they stood them up. They weren't able to get past yeah. them. They weren't able to dribble. They took it right from them. Uh, Marcelona's had five turnovers in this game, very uncharacteristic for him. Who's, he's been great all season long. Mahaney, five for 21, three for 13 from three. Like, he, they just – Grant Foster just had Mahaney in, in the torture chamber, to be honest. Like he was trying to he was trying to get past them. Mahaney was, but like yeah, it pointed out in the Hummel pointed out in the broadcast as well. Like you know, on one end of the floor, they weren't able to get past guys because you know, Mahaney, for as good as he is, he's 180 pounds. Like, and he's going up against like 200 pound guys at Grand Canyon, right? And they're putting they're putting the weight on them on the defensive end, and then on the offensive end, they're just going to the hole hard. And you know, that's they shot they shot 36 free throws in this game. And and they earned all of them because they were the more physical. They were literally physically going at them and putting pressure on them. Yeah, my my deal with St. Mary's here. I think you saw this come into play. They have a really great system. Randy Bennett's an awesome coach. Has a really great system. There's nobody who can create out of structure. Aid Mahaney is probably your best bet when he has to. He has games like this where he goes five and twenty one, and he's not as effective. And I, and Grand Canyon did a good job of making them create out of structure, and it, it certainly played to St. Mary's weaknesses as opposed to strengths want to get your thoughts uh, on Grand Canyon moving forward here in a second, but not before I let you know that this video is brought to you by my bookie. Uh, my bookie is our sports book of choice here. It's Super Media YouTube channel. You can continue the bet. The nonsense action of March Madness. The first round is down. We still got five more rounds to go, man. We still got five more games. Teams got to win to go all the way through this. My bookie be there. Take you all the way through it with a huge selection of straight bets, props, and odd boosts. However you want to play. My bookie makes it easy to do so when you sign up. Use promo code SLEEPERS. You can get a generous first deposit bonus up to $1,000. Just use promo code SLEEPERS at sign up. So Grand Canyon moving forward, they're going to play Alabama. We are going to have a full preview of Grand Canyon, Alabama on the on the, on the the channel uh, here in a little bit. So for a full, a full preview, go check that out. But from a Grand Canyon perspective, what did you see in this game that gives you hope or, or, or maybe not hope that they can potentially turn this into a run and not just a one-game upset? they got guys like they got guys. I think that's, that's the first thing. Like when you're picking these upsets and guys that make runs, it, it's, you definitely have to have a team, a coach, a system in place, but you also got to have guys. Like you got to have guys that when they're on the court with the other team, they're looking at those guys. Like that guy's not as good as me. Like the, I can play with those guys. Like I could play on out like Grant Foster. They definitely thinks to himself that he could be starting for Alabama right now. And that's a good thing. Like, and, yeah. and honestly, maybe he could, who knows, but uh, as much as I believe in Grand Canyon, and I have been, I I have found myself more of a believer. You know, you caught, you try, you tried to lead me to the path, but I didn't go there fully. The thing that makes me feel better about their chances is that they actually are going up against Alabama next. Mm-hmm. And like, you, you know, we we're not doing the Alabama game preview right now, but I will say, Bama left the door open for Charleston. Charleston didn't want to go through that door. They also gave up. And I know they were up big and they maybe took the foot off the gas. They gave up 96 points to Charleston. I, if I'm Grand Canyon, I'm licking my lips and I'm thinking I could score against this team. And in and, and a game we just mentioned that they physically dominated St. Mary's, Alabama's front court is not physical. Grant Nelson does not want to get physical. So, like, you know, right. there's 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 some things there that I, if I'm if I'm Grand Canyon, I'm actually licking my chops a little bit. I'm feeling good. I will be on the Grand Canyon Alabama preview, uh, which again will be up in a little bit on the channel. So make sure you like and subscribe. I have Grand Canyon in my Sweet 16 anyway. And uh, I'm not, I don't think I'm backing away from that now. I shouldn't. I think so. Well, again, make sure you check out that that preview because we're previewing and recapping every single game of the NCAA tournament here on the channel. So make sure you like and subscribe.